design a good physical training plan setting realistic goals and meeting the schedules we have set ourselves will be fundamental if we want our training plan to be effective and provide the desired results although it is always advisable to have the advice of a professional many times we do not get the results expected with the exercise on the other hand many people improvise their activities and leave the profits at random in this article we will tell you how to design a good physical training plan based on your goals and objectives. Tips for planning physical training If for some time you go to the gym but you get bored a bit or you do not see the results you want, even if you work hard, maybe it's because you're choosing the wrong exercises or you're not doing them correctly. Number 1. Organize your training agenda. How many days and hours per week can you afford to exercise? How will you replace those days that you cannot attend? What will you do on weekends? Set the minimum number of times you will train weekly and do not drop that number. Make a realistic goal, because if you say you will go from Monday to Saturday and then only go Wednesday and Friday, you will feel frustrated and even guilty. Keep in mind that weekly sessions and the type of exercise also depend on your goals. In this way, to gain muscle precise 4 to 5 days of training. To lose weight, between 3 and 4 days and the same to increase your levels of strength. Number 2. Set cycles for goals. One of the main mistakes in exercising is to want to achieve goals in record time or just look at the end result. If your intention is to lower 10 kilograms, then you should be putting intermediate goals of, for example, 2 kilograms. The complete plan can take you 5 months, but the cycles can be 4 weeks. That way you will feel that you are going down the right path to the finish line. Number 3. Choose simple routines. Beginning exercises always have to be simple and, in addition, work a good amount of muscle groups at the same time. Also, we cannot forget to include a few minutes of cardio, treadmill, bicycle, climber. You cannot miss in your routine, squatting hip elevations banking press dominated ABS. To avoid getting bored and working more muscles, we recommend changing the plan every 4 weeks and, if possible, adding more weights or more repetitions. Number 4. Evaluate your physical state. It is important to be realistic and conscious about your own abilities and obstacles. To begin with, it would be good if you weighed and measured to know your starting point. There are different tests performed by trainers to determine the physical state of a person. You can even take a strength test that tests your heart and lungs. Number 5. Do a routine to suit you. Following the diet or training of your best friend, your neighbor or your cousin is not a good idea. Although the other person has worked out, each one must perform exercises according to their own characteristics. Number 6 motivate yourself. There are different ways to go to the gym with joy and not as if it were a burden. For example, you can think of the good you are doing to your body, the results you have already achieved, how you are avoiding certain diseases, etc. You can also consider training time as a social time to meet new people or to clear your mind of everyday stress. Number 7. Gradually increase series and repetitions. Everything will depend on the routine. Although, in most cases, three to five sets are made to start. As for the repetitions, the minimum recommended is eight and the maximum, for beginners and intermediate, is fifteen. If your idea is to increase your strength and muscles you can vary the repetitions according to the session. For example, on Monday between five and eight repetitions with high weights. Wednesday between 12 and 15 repetitions of low weights and on Friday between 8 and 12 repetitions with average weights. The breaks between each series also change. If you do up to 3 repetitions for 3 minutes, if you do between 4 and 7, rest 2 minutes, and if you do more than 8 repetitions, rest 1 minute. Number 8. Do not forget to sleep well. Even if you have organized in such a way that every day you go to the gym or exercise, it is very important to give rest to the muscle groups worked. If in one session you make a higher train, the next one would be good if you exercise lower train. Remember that a good night's sleep is essential for your recovery, and even to get your goals faster. Number 9. Do not fancy yourself. This is a very common mistake when we plan our training. 
At first we go to the gym every day, we weigh or measure, see how to increase loads or how to last longer on the fixed bike. But watch out, because the ends are never good. Progress little by little and work harder every day but exercise will not become an obsession. Number 10. Follow your progress. You can keep a diary, make annotations in a notebook or on the mobile. The important thing is that you follow the changes in terms of weight, centimeters or even how your clothes fit.